Coming up next, Passover is right around the corner, and a local Jewish deli is serving up a traditional holiday meal. Oh, great. that looks so good. <laughs> Max and Betty's Restaurant is joining us live in the kitchen. We've got that coming up after the break. So Passover's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm eating while I'm trying to talk at the same time. John's already feeding us. What yes, can I say? Exactly. Passover's coming up next week. The Jewish holiday commemorates the exodus of Jews from slavery in Egypt. We're talking about 3,000 years ago. And with this long-standing tradition comes the traditional Seder. And here to tell us about it is John Sobel from Max and Benny's Restaurant, Deli and Bakery. Thank you so much for being here, John. Thank, Thank you for bringing so much food. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the meal that you guys are going to be preparing uh, for Seder and Passover. Okay, so when we do our Seder every year at the restaurant, and we do it at the restaurant, and you can also pick it up and take it home with you as well, um, it's traditional. Chicken, brisket, mm -hmm. um, matzo kogel, potato kogel, uh, all the ingredients for the Seder plate, including the harosis, which you're enjoying. Yes, yeah. um, phenomenal. And then, and that's all uh, takes part of how the story is told of the slave, of the exodus from slavery to freedom. Right. Talk about the significance too, as far as the ingredients go, and well, because the story it tells. But because when the Pharaoh said to the Israelites, "Get out," and this is the whole story of Moses and, mm -hmm. and the uh, Ten Commandments. Um, when when they were told to get out, they didn't have time to bake bread. Right. They were told to get out quickly, so they laid their flour, their, their dough on flat on rocks and baked it hard. Mm -hmm. And it became matzah, what we, what we use as matzah today. Yeah, yeah And exactly. so because there's no flour, there's a lot of ingredients that aren't used, that we normally use traditionally in, in normal baking that's not used during Passover. Right. Okay, so this dish you're making with apples is called what again? This is apple matzah kugel. Okay, okay perfect. Walk us through Let's it. do it. Okay, so the first thing you do, obviously it's matzah. So you take matzah, and I've already broken it up and put it in the bowl here. Get it, eat about one box of matzah, Real hot water. Yeah. Soak it for about a minute, pat it dry, then break it up and put it in the bowl. Okay. Next is going to be the apples. Yes. Two Granny Smith apples, really okay. finely chopped. And you see how, once you have finely chopped, how much that goes. It looks big, yeah. Yes. <laughs> After that, you do eggs. About a dozen eggs. After the eggs, actually, I'm going to put the eggs in last. Do sh two kinds of sugar, cinnamon, regular sugar and brown sugar. Okay. Two kinds of raisins. We have golden and regular raisins. Nice. And then uh, uh, cinnamon vanilla, and then just a pinch of salt. Okay. So we're going to mix that all together, and then it becomes a gorgeous, uh, sweet dish to go with your meal. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. Now, wait. Is some of this used in that as well? No, the harosis is not used. Oh, okay. That is used. That is part of the Seder. Got the it. The harosis is used as a uh, telltale for when you're telling the story of... Um, the Exodus, right. that's told, it's the mortar that the Jews had to build the, um, build the uh, pyramids with. Okay, wow. gotcha. Yeah. So that's what, that's the significance that's what the significance of what we're eating of, right, here. right Okay, got it. You know, I just, the, the, the whole idea of Seder as such a significant event and each dish telling that story is really exactly. meaningful. Exactly, it's, you know, it's Seder, the word Seder means order. Mm -hmm. and that everything is told. So you're telling the story from slavery to freedom. Yeah. And then it's always told with wine, with soup, with everything yeah. you want. It's family, it's food, it's friendship. It's really right. beautiful. Right. Absolutely. So then when you're done, you get all the ingredients in. You mix it up real well, real simple. Mix it up. Okay. And then you put it in a baking dish. Got yep. it. And then when you're all done with that, you get the, the what you're having here. This is the matzo kogel oh right here gosh. on the corner. It's a sweet okay. matzo kugel. It is so good. I was eating a little bit before while we were preparing. So who's your favorite? Oh gosh, like, do you have amazing. your mom's yours is your favorite or yours is your favorite? Actually, or? I'm I'm obviously partial to this one. <laughs> My mother never made a sweet matzo kugel. She always made a savory matzo kugel. Oh, okay. Oh, savory. Yes. So how does that change it up? You just do different ingredients and obviously not apples and cinnamon. Yeah, So yeah. it's just different ingredients. But matzo is so... A versatile. You can use. You can do a lot of different ways. Well, John, thank you so much. This oh, is my pleasure. Thank, well, thank you for being you. here and sharing the story in this really meaningful moment. Max and Benny's is hosting a traditional Passover meal on Friday, April 19th, and Saturday, April 20th. Cost is 34 to 95 per person and 15 to 95 for children under 10. Max and Benny's located at 461 Waukegan Road in Northbrook, and we posted all of those details right on our website, along with the recipe for the dish that you just saw here. Just head to abc7chicago.com. And we've got more news coming up after the break. Thank you so much, John. Our pleasure. Thank you.